Hello YouTube, Flight Sim Guy here. I am in Kingston, Jamaica with the MD-80, the original MD-80 by Leonardo, Fly the Mad Dog. And what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you how to set up the flight management computer for this bird. We're going to go ahead and uh, do a configuration of the FMS uh, representing a flight plan from Kingston, Jamaica to Miami International. So what we need to do is Shift-8. I can point down here, but this plane is pretty old, textures are poor, so we're going to use the 2D version or the 2D view of the flight management computer. Alright, so before we set up the flight management computer for uh, this particular route, something you need to understand. If you're very good at configuring the flight management computer for Boeing aircraft such as a Captain Sim 737, I'm sorry, 757, 767, 777. Odds are you probably don't need to watch this video. You can figure it out yourself. It's very, very similar. If you've never set up a flight management computer before, I recommend you view the videos that I have linked in the description below on waypoints and on SIDS and STARS. You need to understand how waypoints work and how SIDS and STAR works before you can attempt to do this. Otherwise, the process for setting up the flight management computer for the Leonardo Fly the Mad Dog MD-80 is a lot like the other Boeing planes and uh, it's relatively straightforward. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, today we're going to be entering the flight plan and configuring the flight management computer for a flight plan from Kingston, Jamaica, MKJP and we're going to be using SIDS and STARS so the waypoints in between uh, Kingston and Miami are T-O-T-O-N and U-R-S-U-S -S. and the SID that we're going to be using coming out of Jamaica is going to be Save M5 and the star we're going to be using going into Miami is Flipper 5 all right. All right. Set up the flight management computer. First thing we got to do, we got to tell the plane where we are. Position in it. Click on this. Um, we can use this figure, or we can use any of those figures, or you can go ahead and enter the airport right here. In this case, we're just going to go ahead and use this. Put that there. Copies it down. Set it right there. And we're good to go. Okay. Next thing we need to do. Is click on route enter our departure M K J P by the way the P stands for Palisados that was the name of the airport before it got changed to uh, Norman Manley destination is Miami K M I A this you can enter if you want but this is optional here you start to enter all the waypoints in between Kingston and Miami now in this case if you wanted to you could enter all the waypoints on the standard instrument departure the SID the route and you can also manually enter all the waypoints for the star but we don't need to do that all you need to do is enter the waypoints uh, that represents the route not including the SID and star in this case it's just two which is one of the reasons why I chose this so our waypoints are Teuton And the next waypoint is Ursus. U R S U S. And that's it. Hit activate. Hit execute. Now, we, before we enter the Sidden Star, let's do the perfinet. In this case, cruise altitude is flight level. We're going to go ahead and set it as uh, 32,000 or whatever your flight level is. Get the software flight plan that you generate from Simbrief. Transition altitude is going to be 18,000 feet. Okay, now over here it's a little bit tricky. And I'll tell you why. Let's move this out of the way. The fuel quantity is shown on the, the dash of the, uh, the aircraft. Here you have left main, right main, center. Okay, total fuel 12,600. Total gross weight 61,700. Zero fuel weight, 49,100. You can go ahead and use that and enter it here. Just understand, okay, that for this aircraft, the Fly the Mad Dog MD-80, 
Even though the configurator has been specified or set up to use pounds, for some reason the aircraft is showing kilograms. This is in kilograms. So we, I recommend when you generate the flight plan in SimBrief, use kilograms when you put together your flight plan. All right, so in this case, zero fuel weight is 49,100, so you enter 49.1. I know from this plan that the reserves is twelve is uh, two point five, twenty five hundred kilograms, which is about five fifty five hundred pounds. So two point five kilograms. Your fuel is twelve thousand six hundred. So that's twelve point six, and you need to enter slash n. And as you can see, it computes a gross weight, which is right here. All right. Next. Takeoff. Here's where you enter your V speeds. Um, like most planes, it doesn't compute it for you. You have to look up the performance tables. Tables. Now, in the uh, the documentation for the flight of the Mad Dog, there is a set of information for your takeoff and landing data. In this case, we are at 61,700 kilograms. So you go to the page that says 62,000 kilograms. Your V1 speed. They have a wet and dry runway. In this case, our runway is dry shift 8 bring it back up so our V speeds V1 is 134 your rotate is 139 your V2 your climb out is 146 all right and over here you can use your mouse on the 3d on the virtual uh, cockpit to move these figures where they need to be. I've already done that, except for this one. This is your, here's your V1, rotate V2. This should probably be your uh, flaps up speed, which is going to be about 200 knots, or whatever you want to make it. All right, now we need to do the SIDS and STARS, okay? You can do that two ways. You can start with your departure right here, okay? Or you can go to departure arrival. Either way, it's going to take you to this interface. Departures, you got to pick a runway. In this case, let's go ahead and pick runway 12. Then you need to pick your SID. As I said before, our SID is going to be save them 5. So, over here, here it is right here. And our transition is going to be the waypoint to save them. And then you hit execute. All right. Route. And now what we need to do is put in our star. So we hit init ref, index. And what you want to do is hit departure arrival. We want our arrival. Here it is right here. KMIA. Click Arrival. And let's go ahead and select a runway or uh, an ILS. You need to select one of these, or you should. We'll do ILS 9. Okay? Our arrival, our star is going to be Flipper 5. Here it is. And our transition is going to be Ursus. Okay? Hit execute. Now, we enter all of this. Now we need to make sure that everything we entered, put together, uh, makes sense. So what you want to do is, the actual route that you're going to fly, it's not on a route. To verify what you've entered, you could look here, but you can't really make any changes. To verify your route, what you got to do is go to legs. Okay? Here's Manly. Here are the waypoints for the Save M Star. Hit next. There's a discontinuity here. So to get rid of a discontinuity, there's a blank line. To get rid of the blank line, you cannot... I guess you can do that. Hit delete, and it gets rid of the blank line. All the flight management computers, you can do that. Okay? Coming down. All right. Everything looks good. Hit execute. All right. Now we need to verify the route. Uh, let's go back to legs. All right, that looks good. All right, so to verify the route, what you got to do is 
Come over to your PFD and the HSI. It's dark. It looks like there's nothing there. It is. You just have to brighten it. All right. And then you got to go to your EFIS, which is over here. Set this. This over here. There we go. Set this to plan. And set this to about 20 miles. And this we can remove out of the way by just clicking on it. All right. This is what we want. Okay. Come over here. Go back to legs. Step. 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 Step 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 and as you can see it's going from one waypoint to another everything is in order let's go ahead and zoom in here step step there's a little thing right here a little discontinuity um which is right here and this starts right here let's go ahead and get rid of this now to get rid of a uh and the reason why I do that is because when you hit click again, there's nothing there, and then it picks it up. Now, by the way, when you enter the the, uh, the ILS, when you set up the arrival, it also put the uh, the missed approach, which is right here, and that's what these uh, uh, waypoints are. That's the missed approach. Okay. All right. So what we need to do is straighten this thing out. Legs. Step. 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 What we want to do is fix this. To do that, we have to get rid of this. To get rid of a, a waypoint, you go ahead and hit delete, and then there. Now, it creates a discontinuity. And as you saw before, you can erase the discontinuity by hitting delete, and then the line where the discontinuity is. But in this case, all we need to do is copy this waypoint up right there, and it does that, and then you hit execute. Step, step, step. All right, let's go back. If you make, if you need to make changes to your flight plan, insert a waypoint, remove a waypoint. You need to do it at the legs page. Okay, so let's say we want to erase Foey. Foey is in between Zola and Flipper. To erase a waypoint, you hit delete. Then it creates a discontinuity. You can erase the discontinuity by hitting delete then the line or you can just copy it down like so like that and then hit execute if you want to insert a waypoint foey is in between zola and flipper you insert where you want it to be and it's going to push it down so f o w e e and here's a discontinuity and this this time I'm gonna erase it this way then you hit execute and that's it that's how you set up the, now this is the the basics of setting up the flight management computer for the uh, the MD 80 in this case I want to say you can you can enter two routes you can have a primary and a backup you can also enter um, see here here's a flat plan right here you can here's route 2 this is route 1 you can also enter um, your uh, vertical profile before we go to the vertical profile let's talk about route 2 here's route 1 this is the route that's active you can also come here in route 2 and set up another completely separate backup flight plan just like what I did before and make that active but in this case we're using route 1 okay and if you go to the legs page these numbers over here represent your vertical profile. When you take off 19 miles out, you're going to be at about 8,000 feet. This A means uh, at or above, I think. Okay, so this is the altitude. And this right here is your speed. Okay, you can enter numbers right here to change all of this stuff. Slash 5,000. there you can change your vertical profile information your speeds and uh, the altitudes execute all throughout the flight plan all right and then when you fly and you have the auto throttle set and you have uh, v nav and l nav um, uh, entered or engaged on the autopilot it's gonna fly 
the speeds and it's going to fly the vertical profile to get the altitude at the speed when you're supposed to and it'll fly the whole thing itself i never use the vertical profile i always fly the vertical profile manually and that's a habit that i've gotten into from flying the business jets a lot of them don't have auto throttles you have to manage your speed yourself and it adds more you know more fun to this simulation experience you can also add and remove uh, the Sid and the Star. All right, here's your departure and your arrival. You can come in here and you can erase the Star and the Sid that you have set up and enter all new ones. As such, when you file your flight plan, you should file it without the Sid and the Star because air con traffic control will assign you the Sid and the Star uh, while you're doing your flights. So usually when you fly your uh, when you file your flight plan on VATSIM, go ahead and file with only the route. That is all the information except the SID and STAR. Because a lot of times when I flew on VATSIM, I enter my SIDs and STARS, file it, and at the last minute they're telling me to change. We're not using this uh, SID today, we're using this one. And then you have to come in at the last minute and make changes to your flight management computer. And that usually just screws everything up. All right. Go back to index. That's it. That's how you set up the flight management computer for the uh, Fly the Mad Dog MD-80. And that's all I have. Hopefully you found this video useful. My name is Flight Tim Guy. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.